Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. I'm trying Steam World Build. This game just got announced like today. This is the uh, today's the first day of some uh, base building sale that Steam is running, and uh, and the Steam World devs have decided to <laughs> pick the perfect time to, to launch their their demo for a, a, a base building game uh, entry into their Steam World universe. Um, I, I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the, the devs' de decision to, like, not um, stick with any one genre. They're just like, no, we're gonna be doing something completely different this time, and that seems to be every time. The last time it was a deck-building RPG, um, Steam World Quest, which I played through, and you can check it out on my channel. Um, I really enjoyed that one. Um, I really enjoyed Steam World Heist, and the dig games have are, are, like, kind of legendary platformers, kind of digging platformers. So I'm very excited to see what they come up with for build. Um, this is this is honestly completely new ground for them. They have generally done kind of like linear single player kind of campaigns. So this will this will be a little bit different, more of a sandbox type maybe. And I'm hoping maybe we'll have a little bit of lore. We've already got a little bit of a, a little insight or um, uh, kind of reference to to the the universe. The Steam World universe is an interesting one. Um, sort of connected, sort of not. Um, it's, it's interesting. Stars up there. That's where we'll live once we escape this world. By following my plan, little friend. What? Why are you planning? All right. So, uh... <laughs> we'll have to stay focused in order to get to the old tech and escape this rock. A slightly, uh, dissonant intro with, uh, some feel-good themes and, and also, uh, like okay i imagine that was part of like some kind of like backstory in the steam world uh games and i can't honestly tell you where this takes place it could honestly take place between like steam world dig 2 and steam world heist because in steam world heist they were in space and then because that was after uh, their home planet got destroyed but it could be anything and i don't know that it ne necessarily matters but it is interesting to me i mean why why put all of your games in the same universe if you're not going to do something with that, right? And they are doing something. I just don't necessarily fully understand it. And I don't have like an archival uh, knowledge of like the world of Steam World. I just kind of enjoy their their games. Um, so let's see. Let's see what we're doing. Um, so what are we doing? Let's get you started. Move the camera with the WASD. You can move, rotate the camera with the middle mouse button. Might get rid of that motion blur if that's an option. Graphics, uh, motion blur, off. It was already low, though. I appreciate that. All right, so workers. Our workers will need somewhere to live, so let's build some residentials. Uh, worker residentials. Ooh, we, this is a very, very juicy graphic style we got going on here. I guess it, there was um, there was an option. I, I didn't understand it the, at the time, like wiggle amount. So if I turn that down, I'm just curious. I don't know if it's wiggling less or more, or, or I, I guess it wouldn't be more, but anyway. Uh, this base, is, this building is not connected to the train station by the road. Use a road tool to connect it. Okay. Did I do it? Your workers will uh, need somewhere. Okay, make sure your ro resi residentials are connected to the old train station. Oh, the train station by road uh like like this i don't know what i'm doing okay hold on let's let's not be dumb um can i do do i have to do something like this they i think they are connected now i'm not sure which which part did it short description of the building residential houses generate workforce that will stab your refineries they also pay minor taxes which is your primary source of income if any issues arise you will see them here Fulfill citizen needs and you'll advance your city and earn benefits at 100% you can upgrade residential buildings if they're you've unlocked the next citizen tier the money and steam bots you'll earn by keeping them happy Okay Um, oh, so I need to build six residentials. All right, let's let's do it I wonder if I can just like yeah, we can just like hold it down And I guess we're going to want to connect those all up. There you go. I'm assuming I would want to build them out like that. That was This is probably the ugliest setup of all time. 
Uh, build a marketplace. Let's build a marketplace. We can tab to rotate. Okay. So, yeah, I already feel like my, my setup is not ideal at all. Um, all right, let's do like this. So everyone's uh, generating a bit of happiness. Satisfaction levels are increasing. Their needs have been met. Uh, you can always check the needs of your citizens by selecting any residential building. So what are their needs right now? Need is 0% fulfilled service shop. So we want to build a service shop. Let's do that. So we've we've built a road. One more trees nearby, the better the forester will perform as indicated by the fertility level. Okay, so we are building a forester and we've got a little bit of um, islanders in this uh, where you, you, you kind of want to build your your stuff. I mean, this that's not exactly just an islanders mechanic, but it makes me think of islanders. Really do like the look of this game. Uh, every single Steam World game kind of like outdoes the next one, or the sorry, the previous one in terms of like graphics. Um, but this one is like you know the same <laughs> in that regard. I like the t oh man the tumbleweed and it's like a pile of scrap is so good. Oh, we can click on it. Oh man, that's a nice little uh, little feature there. Okay, hold on. Many refineries will require resources from other buildings in order to produce their own. The mill will use logs from the forester to produce boards. Re uh, boards are required for almost all construction in the city. Okay, let's throw this down like here. And uh, we'll place a road down. Like that. The building is outside the coverage range of a warehouse. It cannot deliver goods. Make sure it's, it has access to a warehouse. Okay, so we got to build a warehouse now. Okay. Um, all right, so that's good now. Water is essential for steam bots to be powered. Cactus water can be extracted from local cactus farm. Um, all right, so let's do that. Foliage. Is it foliage? We can build cactus, which is weird. Countryside. Wheelbarrows, step ladders. I wonder if these are like, oh, those are decorations. Okay, never mind. Um, warehouse, not none of those. Marketplace, cactus farm. Unlock requirement. We need more workers. Um, two to five fulfill worker needs. So we need to fulfill some more worker needs. These are all fulfilled, so we don't have to worry about that too much. So all we really need to do, worry about right now is building some more. Um, houses. We got to connect these up. So they're connected to the road. And then we want to make sure that they have their, their needs are fulfilled. Nice. Seems like they are. I'm not sure. A service shop and then marketplace. I don't know if they need to be within range of, of all of that. But never mind. All right, let's uh, connect these roads up. And then um, we'll uh, place another residential here. I don't know if do these like have a rotation. It looks like they're are being kind of randomly rotated or is that just like my awful setup? Is it just me or are they being like randomly rotated just for a little bit of variation? So nothing like the, the whole town doesn't look completely symmetrical. Click on those scrap. Wow, 4,000 from that. That was a really nice little tumble scrap. All right, so we'll throw down some more workers. And we have to wait for... Um, people to build that the workers to build that so there's a little bit of a uh, time required and I'm, you know this is an early demo so i have to imagine that um you know the game will, will look a little bit more polished like maybe we'll see these being built over time um we are acquiring more boards i wonder if it would be worth building another mill in order to increase our production that's always my temptation but i don't know if that's actually a good idea we can build, throw down some constructions just to make things look a little bit more pleasant. 
I don't know if that what like what is this income? We have workers and then there's a, another thing city upkeep is 44 mine upkeep is zero two to five fulfill worker needs 200 worker grow worker production or population mill um let's build another not a mill uh we would i i think i'd like another or maybe we do want a mill oh i see yeah we want a forester and we want a mill so let's make another mill so that we have more production and then maybe is there some more trees somewhere there's some more trees over here so let's go ahead and throw down um another one of these I kind of want to get the most out of these trees. All right, that's good. And I'll go ahead and connect that up. It's outside the coverage range of a warehouse. It cannot deliver its goods. So we need to build a warehouse for that. Um, I don't know what the range is for a warehouse. It doesn't seem to tell me what uh, the range is. But of course, this isn't going to get built until we have uh, more resources. So we'll, we are, we are slowly, I mean, we're doing something. I don't know. Maybe I want to deconstruct this. Um, not connected to a warehouse. Maybe the warehouse needs to be like right next to it. Um, this shows what the building produces and what it requires to do so. So it requires, you know, foliage, um, modifications. So there's stuff, production cycle of the building and how long that takes. So it is connected to a warehouse now. You, have a, you can have slot in any potential items you have. Upkeep is how much this building costs you to maintain. So it costs me money to maintain it. We have a certain amount of money. We don't have any uh, modifications available. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on in this game. We can make some walls. Don't know why we would, but you know. I have to imagine decorations are just a, a means of making your town look nicer. Maybe in the future they'll do something. I'm still trying to uh, fulfill worker needs. What are their worker needs here? They don't have a marketplace or a service shop. So they're outside of range of that. Okay, so there's a, it's a little bit of positional town building going on here. You have to you have to build stuff, you know, close to other stuff, and then maybe you benefit um, by like building your town a little bit, um, not ergonomically, but you know, like with, with position in mind. Um, let's also build a wait. Is that a, that is a service shop? So what we need is a marketplace. So let's build a marketplace. One or more resources have a negative balance. Let's have a look at that. The administration window gives you an overview of your available resources. Um, keep an eye on the resource balance. A negative number means your demand is higher than what you are producing. You can select the resource from the list to see its balance trend over time. That's interesting. I actually really like that uh, kind of a conveyance of information. Uh, selecting the item tab will show you any items that you have available. Okay, so yeah, right now our water needs are not being met because we don't have a cactus farm. Um, don't know what the cactus farm needs. Production, uh, place construction, cactus farm. I don't think it actually needs anything. I just, I think it just like, you know, does it. And it, th this sort of shows us our range. So actually if I place this here, it'll connect to the most people, maybe. Our farms require fields to function. Select the building and press place field. Select the... Oh, I see. So we got to build place fields. So we can place some fields. Um, you know. Nice. That looks, that looks fine. I'm sure my town looks awful. Thank you for bearing with me. A uh, charcoal kiln is a must in any city. If you can't build the charcoal kiln, yet build more residentials and or fulfill citizen needs until you have enough workers to unlock it. Okay. Our, our, okay, our balance on the cactus is good now, which is good. Um, but now we're going to need charcoal. 
So we want to build the charcoal kiln. Charcoal kiln turns wood into charcoal. Makes sense. Um, let's place this. Yeah, over here seems like this is going to be like my industry area. Fortify, fulfill worker needs. We will need to prepare the old train station in order for our city to progress. Let's select it and see what, what we'll need in order to repair it. Just four boards? I can do that. When repaired, the train station makes it possible to trade with other settlements. It will also allow us to buy more useful or buy useful items from the item store. Okay, so we have, we repaired it. I love the character designs in this so much. Like the Steam World games all have like just ridiculously good character designs. Ah, okay. Um, so now our log balance is bad because we don't have enough uh, logs. Um, so why don't we, before we move on, just go ahead and build another forester. And you can't, it seems to me you cannot build a, um, forester that takes advantage of the same trees as another forester. So I'm going to have to, uh, build a less efficient one over here. And this one's not going to be close enough to the warehouse, so I'm going to have to build another warehouse next to it, of course. My my town is absolutely awful. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's just going to have to work for now. Um, are we back? We're in the back in the black for um, logs, which is fine. We got some more decorations. I, I don't know what those are doing. So now we have uh, items. So, no item available. So, these are for placing modifications. Um, so, now we can buy stuff. The train station gives you access to trade and the ability to buy items that boost the efficiency of your city. This is where you can set up new trade deals. You can also keep track of any active trades. This is where you buy items and equipment that can boost your city and mine. Items will refresh when train arrives at the station. So these are very expensive and I don't have nearly enough to buy them. I, I really hope that these are just in-game currencies. I have a, in a like gut reaction, like just aversion to gems in general. <laughs> um, whenever I see them, I'm like, uh oh, am I going to have to throw my, some, my, my credit number, credit card number and the three wacky numbers at the back? There are no ongoing trades. Let's do a trade. To create a new trade deal, select the resources you want to sell. All right, let's sell some boards. When you select the resources you want to buy, modify the amount you wish to trade for. Select this button to create the trade deal. Nice tutorial, I gotta say. Um, so let's do boards for money. We'll just, we'll sell a bunch of boards. Create trade. Sure. And then maybe we can buy something, uh, but we have to wait for the train to come in. It arrives in two minutes. So I guess in the meantime, what we could do is we could throw down some more worker residential. Um, just to um, check another box. Definitely some, some fat lore being dropped. Engineer residential. Uh, you've unlocked new citizen tier. The expertise of the engineers will enable your city to advance to the next level. Note that engineers have different needs than your workers. You can upgrade residentials to their next tier if their satisfaction is at 100%. Okay, let's upgrade this guy. Oh, we have to do three of them. All right, let's do three. Um, and then we have to have a saloon. They're going to want moonshine and charcoal, which we do have. So the, yeah, they're gonna want a, a, a saloon. Let's let's throw down a saloon over here. Oh, we need more boards. I sold all my boards. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit for some more boards. How's our balance? Our wood is okay. Our water is fine. We don't have enough moonshine, obviously. Sand is create used to create glassware. Glassware are used for useful for the engineers. So why don't we work on that first? Um, how would one... Okay, we need to make moonshine, but I was trying to figure out how one would create glassware. Probably we don't know yet. 
Oh, I see. Moonshine. This this is that. Um, what is this? This building is collapsed and abandoned. You should invest in, uh, in, in repairing it. Okay. This requires four boards. Sure. Let's throw that down. Oh, we need 18 engineers and a train station con connection. Well, we can solve one of those at the very least. So now it has train station connection. Um, how is this? Our moonshine is in desperate need. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some moonshine. So where is the sand? Okay, so there's definitely some areas are going to be better at creating sand than others. So we'll go ahead and throw this down. 100% fertility is nice. Then we have to make sure it has connection to the railroad. Then we have to make sure that it has connection to a warehouse. I'll throw some decorations here to make this not look awful. Um, so now it's producing sand. It has only 90% uh, fertility. I'm not sure why. Could not afford all trades. Oh, did I ask try to sell 15 boards when I didn't have 15 boards? Interesting. Okay, let's try and sell less of those. Unless... Does this trade can try to happen every time? Let's just cancel it for now. We have enough money to buy a reinforcement bonus. Warehouse item stimulation... Uh, sorry. St simultaneous deliveries. Simultaneous. I don't know why I'm trying to make that... I, what, just what is wrong with my brain? Okay. Um, let's do simultaneous deliveries plus one. And now we should be able to add that to this. Sure. Um, sounds good. Now we need to do the next part of the moonshine, which is glass blower, which requires sand. And that's about it. Um, but we need more boards to, to build that. We are short on boards. Um, let's start working on another, um, mill. Let's just do the, this over here. Uh, I, I, right click not being the camera control is actually really tripping me up. Okay, so let's throw this down over here. And then we'll throw down a mill. Actually, let's, let's throw down the warehouse first. And then we'll throw down the, uh, mill on the other side. We'll go ahead and do something like this and it's it's continues to be awful my design not the game um all right so we're, we're getting some more stuff in and we can like go ahead and connect the big circle here there's another scrap thing over there oh we got a bunch of boards from those that's really nice so we should be able to build the next part which is um glass blower so let's go ahead and throw this glass blower down. This is gonna, our, our fertility is decreasing. I'm not sure why, maybe we have to move this around. Efficiency will depend on the quality of sand where it is placed. Uh, I think it also doesn't actually want buildings to be near it. So placing buildings near it is actually a problem. These both also need engineers. So we're gonna have to upgrade some more engineers. Let's work on one thing at a time though. I want to finish this. And then we need a moonshiner. And that is continuing to decrease the fertility on this. So what I might do actually is I'm going to go ahead and throw down. Let's destroy this actually. You will get refunded a small amount. That's nice. Um, and I'm going to throw down a sand thing like here. And then connect that up. And that now we have 100% fertility, which is nice. So we have the moonshiner. Now we just need, I think, the saloon. And we should be good to go. I, I put this over here so that I didn't interact with this. So I better not then ruin that by, uh, by placing something down. Um... What is this? That's a service shop. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to place this here. Well, we won't lose too much fertility. In fact, we, we lost none, so that, that's good. 
All right, so now we can start thinking about upgrading a couple of these to engineers since we have more um, more needs being met over here. We can have a look also at this. Uh, looks like our moonshine is being met, which is good. Repair the broken mine shaft. We're going to need um, more boards and we have the required engineers uh, taken care of, so that's good. I like this map. It's a nice little touch. The, the look of this game is really nice. What are these? That's interesting. Um, hmm. There's a, usually a little bit of fun kind of like political commentary or social commentary in the Steam World game, so I do wonder what uh, they're planning in that regard. Um, but so far, this is cool. I mean, it's a little bit more uh, simpler than a, a lot of city builders, but uh, that's not to say that it doesn't have depth. It does. So we've repaired the mine shaft. I'm sure that things are going get, to get more complex as we move on also. Enter the mine. Oh, good lord. All right, we made it. We ought to set up some quarters for our miners and get started on digging. We need gold nuggets to set up our operation. Click the chest by the mine shaft for you to get started. Uh, if you need gold nuggets, there are always more to be found by digging around the mines. Train arrived. Could not afford all the trades. Um, okay, so dig tool. So we are digging. Oh, I see. There's a chest there. Interact with chest to open it. We got a gold nugget. This is going to let us build infrastructure. Pillar. Oh, I see. The instability of the planet is dangerous. If ignored, there will be collapse in the mine. You can place pillars to stabilize it. Unstable areas will be shown in stri stripped, striped blue squares. Um, can be placed inside quarters without disrupting their effectiveness. I'm a little bit curious. It seems like I can't place this over here. Position blocked. I'm not sure what's up. Miners do all our digging. Let's see, uh, set up their quarters now. Okay. So where are we setting up their quarters? Size of the room determines how many miners are recruited. Click and drag to build larger quarters quickly. Quarters must be at least nine tiles to function. So we can, oh, I see. Oh, this is very, this is a completely different kind of building game like this is where we've almost gone completely like door fortress with this to get more miners increase the size of your mining minor quarter um so we need to dig uh maybe a little bit in order to get some more room we want to make sure we place more of these these cost boards so we have on one side we've got like you know, um, like upstairs, we've, we've got a whole like extra digging game going on. Scrap is essential for future construction and production. The growth of our city relies upon the unique resources found in the mine. Dig your way towards the highlighted tile to uncover a scrap vein. I'm just a little bit worried about the infrastructure side of things. We also need to recruit some more miners. So what, what I should be doing is digging this stuff out so I have more room to recruit. What is this bedrock? I, I bet I can't dig that. It looks like I cannot dig that, in fact. Uh, was there a collapse? Because I thought I did this. I wonder if there was a collapse over here or something. Okay, well, 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 one thing at a time here. There's a lot to learn, apparently. 
prospector quarters unlock requirements we need 70 engineers so we're gonna have to do more like town building before we can continue doing like mine building tiles to mine why, why can't i do this this room is too small to operate a room needs to be at least nine by nine yeah i, I understand that i tried to do it Hold on a second. Get rid of this. Why couldn't I... Why can't I place there? I guess there's this... Um, these these are res these resources on the ground are actually blocking me from... Um, placing. So I got to find some clear ground. Okay, that now it's beginning to make sense. There's something interesting over there. So I've almost got that scrap. There's more scrap over here. Discovered a scrap vein. You found the scrap vein. Use a dig tool to mark it. It looks like they're going to need something new. They're going to need uh, prospectors, maybe. We will need the help of the prospectors. Head back to the city so we can uh, prepare for their arrival. I have marked several deposits of tools in the mine if you need more. What do you mean by tools? Tile currently marked for digging. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, there's there's a lot going on in this game. Huh. I'm, yeah, it looks like we're going to be able to build bridges, maybe? Huh. Wow. Okay, so let's go back to the city. We have to recruit... Uh, oh, we do have to recruit more miners. Let's do that real quick. So I'll dig this out. I actually don't think that's going to help. Let's put another office like right there. There we go. Grow engineer population. So we have to grow our engineer population. High instability will soon cause a collapse in the mine. Okay, let's take care of that. Hold on a second. Uh, it looks like right there and right there will do it. Over here as well. So yeah, it does let you know you have to... When you build things, you there's a higher instability. Uh, makes sense. Okay, so we're going to have to make some more uh, engineers. I don't know. What is our current consumption? Our glassware is, looks to be completely zero. I'm not sure. We're producing too, so it's not that we're not producing. We are producing. We're going to have to make more glassware. We, are, we have a surplus of sand, so we can make some more glassware. So let's go ahead and place another one of those. This this game it has a little bit of automation in it, but it's a, a lot more straightforward than a lot of autom automation games. And it's a lot clearer to me in this game, like what what I can build more of because of this like very transparent panel. I, I really appreciate that actually. Um, so hold on, we are we do have more moonshine right now. Uh, I'm just seeing if it would be worth building another moonshiner. Let's let's do it. Position blocked by what exactly? I guess okay. Never mind. Um, we'll we'll place it over here, and then we'll place another warehouse here. There we go. Very good. Um, our, it looks like our dudes are not happy. Our engineers are not super happy, or at least some of them are not happy. I don't know what's up. Available work. Oh, I see. We need. We just need to build more of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and build some more engineers. It looks now we need to we need to do more basic recruits. So let's go ahead and do that as well. There you go. To mine scrap vein, you'll need prospectors. Okay, so I think we're good to go now. You got a new road type. It will make warehouse uh, something something. Oh no, I missed I missed some important information. Connect all buildings to the train station and for carriers to travel on. Paved roads allow faster movement speed for your steam bots and increase the coverage range 
of your service. Okay, well, let's let's do this real quick. Let's just like make a very basic road layout. Just around the city. That's probably this is probably spending a lot of money. Oh, we need more tools in order to do this. Oh, I see. We're spending we're spending tools by doing that. I'm not sure how we make tools just yet. Uh, I think that's probably what we get from the mine. Um, our water needs are not being met right now, so let's go ahead and work on that. We also have tool makers, so that's a new thing. Um, let's get some cactus farms going. Um, make sure that they're like nearish to, uh, you know, people. So we'll, we'll do this. Require. Yeah, I, I gotcha. I gotcha. So we'll go ahead and place some farms, place some fields. I wonder if I can like connect them for any kind of benefit. Alright, so are we in the black for water? Yes, we are. We're good on water. We can start working on tools. Scrap can only be found in the mine. It is useful for creating spare parts and tools. Okay, well, we should be able to make prospectors now. Prospectors quarters to rest and resupply. The larger the quarter, the more prospectors it can support. Alright, so can we do something like this? That looks pretty good. I'm wondering also, can I like build this here to expand this quarter? Doesn't look like it does anything. I do like the little touches and extra stuff. Like it put a little uh, cabinet up against the wall there. That was kind of cool. You now have a, a steady flow of scrap. You should consider building a tools maker in the city so we don't have to rely on finding tools uh, in the mine. Um, okay. Digging around is, is actually very easy in this game, I gotta say. It's, it's, it's quite nice. Train arrived at the station. Go and grab some of that gold. Um, we should be able to dig in this direction. In fact, there's a, something there. To dig the soil, more advanced tools are needed. You can produce pickaxes and carbide drills in the city when reaching certain milestones. Ah, there's more stuff going on down over here. We got a prospector, I think, a freebie. Recruit bonus prospector. There's something interesting in there. It might be like a switch. We'll have to find out. The this is a this game is already like impressing me by leaps and bounds. It's like, you know, SteamWorld games are are pretty simplistic, but they always have um, enough depth to, to be, like, super compelling. Door is locked. Follow the co colored cable to find the levers that will open it. So we're going to have to figure out how to cross gaps over there before we can take care of that. So let's go back over here. We're going to have to build a tool maker. Scrap found in the mine, which we've got covered. And then we can make a tool maker. By using scrap, this building will manufacture tools which are always in demand. Um, hoping that this is close enough to that warehouse. I'm pretty sure it is. I think the warehouses are just like, they'll accept everything. There's administration to consider. Oh, I see this. That's what this is. So now we have a demand of scrap, but we don't have enough input of scrap. We should secure some ironium next. We'll need to upgrade our digging tools by building the pickaxe maker in the city first. Pickaxes will also uh, allow us to start our hunt for the old tech. With pickaxes, you'll be able to dig through sandstone. Okay. Um, what is a surveyor office? Engineers plan all their projects in this building. Make it an essential service for them um for them to be able to do their job this requires tools which i don't have a lot in surplus right now um we have more decorations i promised i would like throw down something in this area to make it not look awful so let's go ahead and do that perfect it, it looks wonderful now um build a pickaxe maker uh, where? 
in the workers or do we do that in the mine mechanic quarters we need more engineers so we can do these have stuff too. oh recruit bonus pro uh, prospectors interesting extract ir ironium vein But uh, I still have to figure out how to... Okay, toolmaker. Nothing going on there. Um, maybe... I kind of wish if I could, like, if I hovered over this, it would show me where the toolmaker is. I know I just placed it. So it's right here. Tools. I'm not sure where the pickaxe is. So the problem with having two completely different building modes like pickaxes or not pick uh, sorry mines and the city is i don't know which like certain things are gonna appear under like are the pickaxes going to be um you know are are they on the city phase or are on the uh, the mine phase what is this um gotta i i'm i'm kind of struggling here hold on a second Miners. We need more engineers if we want to make a mechanics quarters. Yeah, I just, uh, I just straight up. Oh, here we go. Pickaxe maker. We need more engineers. Okay, so that was that was always going to be the case. Um, so I think at this point we're going to have to let's well, let's go ahead. You can only upgrade into into engineers so we'll have to build some worker residentials and we'll go ahead and build them over here they should be close enough to the saloon so we'll build them over here like that and then we'll have uh roads connecting them up And then we will upgrade them into engineers. Oh, except they're not, their satisfaction is not met. Right, we have to make them happy before we can upgrade them. So we gotta put a service shop down and a marketplace. So now they're all more or less satisfied. I think they're all good to go. And now we can start upgrading them into engineers, except this guy. This guy's not happy. They don't have access to the marketplace. They're not close enough. So let's just go ahead and remove them. And then we'll upgrade the rest. Okay. Oh, now these guys are not happy enough. Or we don't... Or do, maybe we have too many... Oh, we don't have enough boards and tools. There we go. That's why. Milestone unlocked. The population section above, you can see the, the citizen balance. Negative numbers means we don't have enough steam bots in our refineries and they will work slower. So we need more boards and tools before we can make more engineers. How is our water supply? Our charcoal is not good. So we're going to have to make another charcoal. Um, that means our wood demands are actually going to increase. I wonder uh, where, where are our wood demands right now? Our wood demands are actually in the negative. That's not good because I actually don't know how we're going to make more. Like, how are we going to increase our wood? We're going to have to start trading. Ah, so that's what the trading is for. I, I thought I canceled this. Um, so let's get rid of this. Resource to buy. This. We'll just start buying it. Um, I don't know. We can do something like this. Update trade. There we go. We can buy a new module. Service inhabitants. Service item. Citizen bonus plus two. These are fairly expensive. We can buy them, but uh, they are fairly expensive. So we can do citizen bonus plus two over there. How is this doing? Our wood consumption is still in the negative, but we... And we have zero stored. Okay, that's not good. 
that's definitely bad um is there any wood over here we can take advantage of just to kind of like have a slight stop gap yes there is okay so let's go ahead and throw down another mill over there that should put us back in the black and it does now we need a pickaxe um maker well, now we have sheet metal factory so things are developing at a very rapid fate uh state um so pickaxe makers are going to um kind of feed on our wood demands so that's not necessarily good because our wood demands are quite a lot right now um so, but we do have pickaxes so that's good so we should be able to start digging into sandstone workshop we have gained access to the workshop facility which allows us to build machines facilities have a machine capacity depending on their size scrap extractor so how much how big do these need to be it doesn't really say can they be like this not enough resources right we need more tools hold on uh I'm just waiting for our tool to get like resupplied. Hopefully it will. Okay. Uh, I'll do another one later. Room is too small. How big does it need to be? Place six more tiles to gain one additional extractor slot. Six more. So this thing needs to be three by three. Okay. Can I get this back? Yes, I can. Um, what can we get rid of? We have pickaxes now, so we should be able to get rid of sandstone. This is dirt. Can we get rid of this now? Yeah, we can get rid of that, so then we can place our uh, workshop down. What is this surveillance facility? We should also be able to build a mechanic order. Larger the quarter, the more mechanics it can support. The mechanics will install and repair machines and can revive down steam bots. Okay, so we can't really do that until we start thinking about, uh, until we actually have our machine or workshop up. Oh, why is it? Oh, that's because I don't have enough uh, tools. How's our infrastructure doing? seem to be okay let's go ahead and uh, we should be able to dig through this no oh, wait this door is required train arrived at station so we just got a bunch of wood maybe hopefully we should also start thinking about trading for tools there we go so this is built now and now we can do scrap extractor extract scrap from scrap veins found in the mine a very versatile resource so this is an automated thing okay so we're doing automation in this game interesting so i'm going to need more tools for the, this this game is uh, there's a lot there's a lot going on here and i'm actually really into it i i really like this i i, I don't know how long this demo is because now i'm starting to worry like i i want to play more of this and the demo is going to end probably uh you know exactly exactly now is, is when i would uh when i would guess okay so we i'm just waiting for two more tools we also need to extract iranium Iro ironium that actually really takes me back ironium or ironium is like from the original game we should be able to get this crate over here now oh and there's also a uh, some tools here this is dirt. I don't think I... Can I dig through into that? It looks like I can, maybe. So this gave me some gems. It looks like with the pickaxes, they were able to remove the rocks on the ground. Um, can I build on that dinosaur head? I can. I'm just wondering if that was like decoration or like a mechanic. Okay, we just got a bunch of tools. 
Oh, we got another scrap vein as well. Why don't we make that the thing we put? Position blocked. Okay, we have to wait for them to, like, clear up the rocks on the ground. Okay. So there needs to be installed by a mechanic. So now, now we need to build a mechanic's uh, quarters. Okay, where can this go? I actually think I might... Uh, okay, we're, we're gonna clear this up a bit. Yeah, this game is, like, super compelling, I gotta say. Okay, we'll wait for them to dig through this and may as well dig through that as well. We'll just check the infrastructure. What is this pillar? Uh, bridge. Oh, we can build bridges now? So we can build a bridge. Oh, we need sheet metal, right? Okay, so it's all it's all coming together now. All right, so we're going to build a mechanics warehouse. We need more tools, I think. Oh no, we have to we have to we have to clear up the rocks before I can finish building it. And I've uh, I've very much taxed everyone out because I've uh, done way too much digging. So as soon as they're done digging, they should be able to clear this business out. Too small. I I, I understand. We got a bunch of money. How much money? Three thousand. That's fine. Okay, they're finally getting to this. The prospectors seem like they only do the scrap. They don't do anything else. Which, when I start automating the scrap, I'm a little bit curious as to, like, what is their job going to be at that point. A question that is also coming to me at this point is, is this game, like, generated? Like, procedurally generated? Or I wonder if, uh... Like, this game was ha hand kind of crafted. Our mechanic has arrived. They will automatically install any machine you have placed. In me mechanics will also repair any steam bots, machines, or turrets that might be damaged. What do you mean turrets? Looks like there's going to be combat in the future. How are we doing here? We could... Oh, our ironium, right. We need ironium. So I guess at this point, I would I want to start thinking about sheet metal. Sheet metal is going to be made up here. Um, but we need ironium in order to make sheet metal. Okay, so that's that's actually what we're doing right now. We can't um, we can't do anything until we, we get sheet metal. So we'll go ahead and start digging and uh, looking for sheet metal or iron, I guess. So this is collecting scrap now. There's a button over here which I cannot reach until I have a uh, the ability to um, build bridges. Oh, you know what? There's a, probably more over here that I'm not seeing. We'll see, we'll see what this uh, breaks up into. Game uh, has a little bit of um, Against the Storm. Reminds me a little bit of, of Against the Storm. But it's it's just a small amount. Um, it's obviously a lot more of a kind of long-term campaign than uh, Against the Storm's kind of roguelite format. Ah, there, that looks like it. No, that's more tools. What is this? Brittle Bedrock. We can dig that. There's more stuff over here. I guess like uh, after I like meet, reach some kind of milestone in the mine, I would probably just like dig a bunch of stuff out so I have room for building out a bit more. Got 
Got some gold. Still looking for that ir iron. Ah. Ooh, that looks like it could be it. Yeah. There we go. And I'm sure I can maybe um, build another... Oh, I see. Per workshop, you can only have one machine. So I'd have to build this out more in order to include another extractor. Interesting. So how much do I need to get another extractor? Place six more tiles to gain plus one additional. Okay, so that's not too bad. Less than the cost of an entirely new one. Room too small. I, well, I wanted to attach them. I have figured... Uh-oh. Okay, we need to address that right away. Okay, hold on. Let me... Let me... Um, this is a workshop. Oh, that's the mechanics quarters. My bad. Let's get rid of that. And then try and find the mechanics... Or the workshop. It's over here. We're going to have to dig this out a little bit. I guess we could have done it from the other end. Would have been probably a little bit more pleasant. So for now, we'll get our prospector to dig at uh, Ironium, but we could probably put an extractor in as soon as these are done being uh, dug up. We can uh, increase the size of, of our uh, workshop. We'll go like that and like that and now we can have a second extractor So we'll throw this down over here. There is no resource. Oh, I guess this is only for scrap Unavailable in demo. Okay, so you can't have the ironium extractor. So yeah, right around now is when the demo is starting to uh, Peter out and and we're starting to see the limits This is your money the number below your income money is earned from your oh, I, I knew about that though I, I did know about that so now we can make sheet metal. Um, so we're going to want to make sheet metal. Not sure where I'm putting this. I guess we could put it near the mine. Makes sense. So now we're building sheet metal. How is our balance? Uh, well, we definitely need more ironium, but that's fine. We, we need the spare parts maker. So yeah, this is one of those games like as you build it, um, you know, it, it develops it becomes um, a lot more Complex and then you have to manage a lot of different resources They're all happy we made a uh, Surveyor office We've got a ton of money you could probably buy one of these Minor equipment digging speed bonus. Let's buy that and we're still buying wood, right? Yeah, you want to we want to keep a surplus to make sure that our wood demands are are okay We have a ton stored so we're good We can like ha graph everything so we can see How the graph is being addressed or the the balance So now we should be able to um build bridges so let's go ahead and build some bridges um where would that be guard quarters that's interesting and a little bit auspicious infrastructure okay here we go bridges um so we're probably going to want to build across here it's it's very instantaneous. I was expecting like build time. Oh, I guess they do need time to build All right, so they should be able to reach the switch now I can just click on it. That means we can um, Access this door over here You found a part of the old tech mark it with the dig tool to start to excavate it The amount of miners needed will be displayed above the object. So we need Six in total and right now we only have three We also have dirty water. I wonder if we can use that instead of cactus water 
So we should probably make another miner's quarters. We could probably just increase this one. Three more tiles to gain one more miner. So we'll do like, we'll just build it out. We still need more, so... I mean, we can still stand to build this out a bit more. Every three tiles, we gain one more miner. We don't have to build this way either. We could also build this way. And in fact, it just says three more, so it might be that we could do like one over here, one over here, like... You know, it's just like the amount. It's I don't think it's it needs to be a certain shape. How is our infrastructure doing? I like to double check this every once in a while because yeah. So like for instance over here we could definitely use some infrastructure. Let's go ahead and mine this now. Uh it seems like no one is available right now. Okay, we're good. So minor mine floor one, I have to assume there's going to be multiple mine levels and with varying levels of difficulty and things that we might have to fight. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty safe assumption. We could um, start building out towards here and uh, Take care of this stuff. These guys are going to be busy for a bit. May as well do something while we're waiting. I have a dude over here. I want to I wanna check that uh, chest. You don't have direct contact. To the yeah, this is a this is a really cool game. It does a, a few things, um, you know, like I, there's a few things here I've seen before in other games, um, but it does them very well. And then there's a couple things I've I haven't seen before like it's it's doing a couple things different a couple things the same but either way um you know steam world the the devs of steam world games always like to shake things up a bit they try a new genre and they they tweak it ever, ever so slightly and add their own kind of creative flavor to it and this game is no different and it feels really good so far i uh, i gotta say very very impressed with it i'm assuming that the demo is going to end as soon as this is uh uncovered so we'll see Interact with the rocket part to claim it. Okay. That's, and there, there you have it. And yeah, it looks like we're going to have some combat, have some creatures. Uh, Automation is definitely going to be, play more of a factor, I think. Um, there's a couple of things I wouldn't mind seeing done differently. Maybe the interactivity, like you place down residents and then the robots are just kind of there and then they just kind of like get thrown towards whatever tasks you need to do. And I do appreciate how straightforward that is, but I wouldn't mind seeing, uh, you know, a little bit more like you do build roads, but I kind of wouldn't mind like um, maybe how you build your town, maybe playing a bit more of a part. But that being said, I built the town very badly. That being said, I built the town very badly and it didn't have much effect on the uh, on the gameplay. So I don't know. But either way, I don't, I don't even think that's a critique. I mean, it's a very early version of the game. And I think that uh, the, you know, the final version, there will be more things to do uh, in the mid to late game. And there will be maybe more ways, like maybe a way of like uh, rebuilding the town or an incentivization to rebuilding the town might be a, a nice thing. Um, that was a, something that a lot of people uh, praised against the storm for is your ability to just like move buildings around. But anyway, this was a fairly long let's try, but I mean, it was a building game and those tend to be fairly long. And uh, I, I really like what I see here and um, I'm very much looking forward to it. Probably be a day one purchase and I'll probably end up streaming it since I have been streaming or have streamed all of the previous uh, Steam World games. Outside of the Dig games, I should stream those. But either way, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.